Miss Adams here for Artastic Tuesday. Hope you guys are well. I miss you. I hope that you're healthy and safe and well. Today, we are going to do a fish for our kindergarten and first graders. Now, first graders could definitely do this fish and the seahorse, I think. I really have a lot of first graders that I want to try out that seahorse, okay? But for our kindergarten friends, for sure, this is our fish that we're gonna do. So we are gonna start with his eyeball. So decide, friends, which way you want your paper to go. You can do it sideways. I kind of suggest you do it sideways just because, as you can see, his body's a little long this way. But if you want your paper up and down tall, that's fine too. So decide which way you want your paper. Decide where you want his eyeball to go. I'm going to scooch mine over a little bit from the middle. Mine's not going to be in the middle, but if you want a smaller fish, you could definitely make your eyeball in the middle. It's up to you. So I'm going to scoot mine over a little bit from the middle, and I'm just going to start with a circle for his eye. And then on the inside, I'm going to make almost a dot, and I'm going to remember to leave a little space of white showing to show that he's a realistic fish. Then I'm going to make a curve line for the top of his body, a little different than what we normally do, right? Since he doesn't have a nose like we're used to and he doesn't have a lips like we're used to, I'm just going to start with a curve line for the top of his body. So above his, we're going to look at his eye and that curve line is going to go above his eye and back. And so I'm going to look at his eye. I'm going to go forward just a little bit, okay? And that's where I know I'm going to start my, um, start the top curve line for his body. So watch, I'm just gonna go forward a little bit and make a tiny dot. From that dot, I'm gonna make it curve over the eye and it's gonna curve back, curve back, curve back. Decide how big you want your fish and it's gonna to start to curve down. Go back to that dot that you just made and I'm gonna make a curve line for his belly it's going to curve down and look, it's going to come back up and it's going to touch. So you need to watch. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to curve it down and I'm going to follow it and I'm going to curve it up and touch right here. So go to that dot, curve line down. I'm going to watch what I'm doing. I'm going to bring it back up and it's going to touch. Now you see just a little bit of his mouth. Fish don't have lips like we do. You just see like a little line for where his mouth would be. So I'm just gonna make a little short straight line. And then all fish have gills. Fish I read are the most diverse animal species. And that means that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different kinds. Over 32,000 that we even know about. And scientists think there's probably even more than that way deep in the ocean that we don't even know about. So there's the most different amounts of fish of any other animals, which I thought was kind of cool, but they all have a few things in common. They're all cold-blooded, they all have gills, and they all have to be underwater to turn the water into oxygen for them to breathe. So we're gonna go ahead and show his gills right behind his eye. You can do two or three or four curve lines, however many curve lines you want. And then we're gonna show this fin right here. And this is the fin that sort of helps him navigate through the water, kind of helps him turn in the water. So we're going to show this fin right here. I'm going to make a curve line for this fin. And then it's going to curve out, curve out. And you can make it, of course, however long you want. There's 32,000 kinds of fish. Some have short ones, some have long ones. You make it how you want. And then I'm going to make a wavy line to touch. And then I'm going to follow those curve lines all the way through. I'm taking my time, not scribble scrabbling, just taking my time and filling it in with more curve lines. Now let's go to the top part of his body. We're going to make this fin right here coming off the top. So I'm going to look at his eye and it's not going to start just directly above his eye. I'm going to look at his eye and I'm going to come back just a little bit. So look at his eye and I'm going to come back a little bit and I'm going to make a curve line however tall you want that fin to be. And I'm going to decide how wide I want it, and I'm just going to make another curve line. And then we're going to go ahead and make it wavy in between to touch. And all through here, we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to follow those curves all the way across, taking my time. 
He's got two fins on the bottom part of his body. One's a little bit longer towards the front and one's a little bit shorter towards the back. So let's start with that front one. I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer with two curved lines. And I'm gonna make it wavy in between. And you guys know what to do. You're gonna follow it all the way across, filling it in with more curved lines. Then towards the back, we're gonna do a shorter, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. We're gonna do the shorter one towards the back. So I'm gonna make one, two shorter lines. And I know you guys know what to do now. You, you're gonna make a wavy line in between. And what comes next, you're gonna fill it in with my short little, little curve lines. Now for his tail, I'm gonna look at this point. Remember where we had our lines meet right here at this point? I'm gonna look at his tail and I'm gonna make a little bit above that point. I'm gonna make a curve line up. And a little bit below that point, I'm gonna make a curve line down. And you can make it however long, however wide you want your tail to be. Then of course, we're gonna make it wavy in between. Now watch, this time, instead of making curve lines all one direction, look what Miss Adams is gonna do. I'm gonna make a curve line on the top that follows that curve line. Then jump down, I'm gonna follow this curve line down here. Look, it's gonna curve down and touch. See how it follows those lines? And then I'm gonna make one right down the middle. Now, fish come in a bajillion colors and patterns and stripes and spots, and you can definitely add some patterning and um, some decorations on your fish however you want. Now, remember kindergartners, we've talked about this before. Don't draw this part. This is just for Miss Adams. Remember, do you think that a fish in real life would have that as a pattern? Do you think a fish in real life would have this as a pattern? No, we're talking about, so don't do this, don't make scribbles. We're not talking about those um, patterns that people make. We're talking about things that you'd see in the ocean. So maybe you wanna show some stripes, some wiggly line stripes going across his body. Maybe you want some spots, and look, we can make them rough and bumpy spots. So if you want a realistic fish, you would do more realistic patterns that you see in nature. Not so much what people draw, right? If you want hearts all over your fish, can you do it? Absolutely, you sure can. It just won't look like a realistic fish. Up to you, okay? So you can definitely come on here and add any sort of pattern to your fish that you want, or you can leave him plain, whatever you would like to do. Let's think about just um, a little bit of background. If you, kindergarten friends, to make something look realistic, remember that the fish are um, creating their own breath out of the water that they're in. And so when they breathe out, there's little bubbles that come out. So you could definitely make some little bubbles close to his mouth. You could make seaweed. So for seaweed, we're gonna start at the very bottom. And I'm just gonna make a wavy line that comes up because the seaweed is waving in the water. It's moving in the water. And then look, I'm gonna very skinny next to it, make it come all the way down. Usually seaweed grows in big clumps, so I definitely wouldn't just make one seaweed, I would make a few seaweed. Just bring it up, skinny back down. You could make some back here. You could definitely add rocks or other fish. He didn't take very long, so you could make a little friend for him, whatever you'd like. But this is our kindergarten and first grade drawing for the week. I hope that you guys are well. I hope that you are healthy. I know that every teacher at Western Oaks misses you guys so much. And so I'm so glad that you joined me today to draw our fish. Um, like I said, last week, if you would have an adult take a picture of your fish and put it on Facebook, it would make my day. I would love, love, love to see what you guys are working on at home. Or just any drawings that you're doing at home. Parents, if you're watching this, I would love to see what your kiddos are creating at home. I sure miss you guys. I love you, and I will see you next week for Artastic Tuesday. Bye.